2015 has been another interesting year for Africa. We've seen a number of positives, including successful elections in large economies like Ivory Coast and Nigeria. There are headwinds, however. The US Fed starting to hike rates probably in December um, and a commodity cycle that is proving challenging, particularly for oil producers. Appetite, however, for credit from sub-Saharan Africa remains robust, and this is a trend that we expect to see continuing in 2016. In 2015, the value of corporate bond issuances in Kenya totaled approximately 14 billion Kenya shillings, and we expect that in 2016 this amount will increase. Um, with a drop in interest rates and increase in liquidity, we do think that 2016 does uh, present great opportunities for corporate issuances to come to the market. From a local currency perspective in countries in Africa, outside of South Africa, we continue to see good growth and development of Nigerian capital markets, in particular um, $12 billion of issuance in 2014, and still a healthy result uh, this year with six corporate bond issuances and 24 commercial paper issuances, despite some of the broader macro and political uh, challenges that have occurred in Nigeria this year. 2016 looks like it's going to be a very interesting year for Nigeria because uh, we've seen the central bank cut rates by 200 basis points. What that has done is effectively introduced more liquidity into the market, so borrowing rates are going to be cheaper. We see a lot more corporate activity in terms of issuance going into next year. With depressed commodity prices, we don't expect to see much issuance from oil and gas um, as well as mining companies. However, the slack will be taken up by other issuers in the telecommunications space, in the power and infrastructure space, and in particular the consumer space, which we regard as the sleeping giant of Africa.